Welcome to episode two of the CJK Show. I'm Josh. And I'm Connor. And we are the CJK Show. Today we are going to launch episode two with a recap of the NBA playoffs. Lots been going on. Lots has been going on. Upsets. Yep. Some of your predictions were right. Yep, and some of them were very, very wrong. Ooh, sorry about that. About the Warriors, you know, only losing one. Oh. He'll give nothing away because we're going to wrap up the episode with a, a mini deep dive into the Warriors. We're also premiering a new segment this episode called So Drippy, where we look at some of the drippiest the looks. The way that you said that was hilarious. I'm going to keep it in. Yeah, I know. So Drippy. So stay tuned for that in the middle of the episode. Uh, what should we do now? Uh, I think we should roll the intro. Roll the intro. You are now entering the world of the CJK Show. And we're back, and we're going to start off with the Eastern Conference of the NBA uh, playoffs. Okay, here we go, buddy. Where do you want to start? How about Sixers and Nets, since that series is already over? Four games. Um, I was expecting, well, first of all, I think we talked about this last time, but the Nets had a super team that was dissolved, and really and truly, so many people in the NBA looked at this as the crumbs, like the leftovers, like mm -hmm. like the B team, a G League team, not quite a G League team, but still, beyond a rebuild, and the fact that they made it to the playoffs, I yeah, think they Yeah, they should... stayed at that sixth seed, which is pretty phenomenal. Do you think um, Steve Nash, former coach of the Nets was happy or sad to see them make it into the playoffs? Um, I mean... Do you think he was salty about it? Possibly. Actually, definitely. Well, I'm thrilled that they made it through, to made it into the playoffs. They did not make it past round one. Yeah, they're just such a fun team to watch. They are, but the Sixers... Uh, they just demolished yeah, them. They took away all the fun for the Brooklyn Nets. Embiid was injured. Sorry, cat hair. Um... Embiid was injured um, and still is being monitored, so we'll have to see how that affects the um, round two for yeah. the Sixers. But one down, 76ers move on, the Brooklyn Nets hold your head high. You played a phenomenal season. Especially Mikel Bridges. Mikel Bridges slid over from Phoenix in the trade, and um, he's he, had, he finished the season stronger than he started it. Yeah, like if we're talking 2K ratings, if you guys don't know who 2K is, you're kind of weird. Um, Sorry. <laughs> so when he was with the Suns, I'm pretty sure he was an 80 overall. With the Nets, he is an 87, which is pretty incredible. That just shows that the leap over the past couple months has been pretty unreal. It's been intense, um, in a good way. Yeah. The next uh, matchup in the East. The Hawks versus the Celtics. Personally, I did not think the Hawks were going to win a game. I said that in my last video. I said that the Celtics were going to sweep them. That did not happen. Hawks did win one. Celtics are up three to one. I think the Celtics will take it. Yeah. Yeah. So they're gonna be at home. Yeah, they they beat them. Uh, the Celtics beat Atlanta on the home court. That does a lot. They're breaking them down. They are the better team. What's going on with KD? Oh no, he's just saying hi. Shh, 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 shh. Not ready yet. Oh, KD. We worship you. We don't worship KD. But he's pretty cool. Um, okay, so we see the Celtics going all the way into that one. How about the Bucks and Heat? Heat are up two to the Bucks one. Which we mentioned last episode. Uh, Giannis is still injured. That's part of the reason that the Bucks are down. Don't think they would have been down if Giannis was playing. I think the Bucks will take it, but I think it'll go maybe to seven, right? Yeah, I said I predicted Bucks in seven. Let's see what happens. So so far you're on track with that. Cavs and Knicks. Believe it or not, the New York Knicks are looking poised to sail through round one, which is unbelievable. Yeah, because the Knicks, uh, yeah, that's the only one seed difference, but the Cats have Donovan, Donovan Mitchell, Darius Garland, Jared Allen, Evan Mobley. Knicks have uh, RJ Barrett, kind of like hit or miss, same with Julius Randle. Uh, but Jalen Brunson has been doing pretty, he he's pretty good, but can, we, the question was, can he lead a team in the playoffs? And... Been doing pretty well. Who is? Brunson? Jalen Brunson. Even though wasn't he the one that was benched in the fourth quarter? Oh no, that was Julius Randle. Julius Randle. Bold move. An all-star was not playing great for the Knicks. 
and they his the coach sat him in the fourth quarter. And that was a good idea. Because... It turned out to be a great idea because yeah. they came back and won. Also, the young player who do I love on that team? On which team? On the Knicks. RJ Barrett. RJ Barrett. He's again. He's a hit or miss still. I think he's been his last two games. He's put up some of his biggest numbers. Yeah. The Knicks have momentum. Can we just yeah. say that at least? Man up three one. How about uh, Stephen uh, Smith? Stephen A. Smith. Yeah. He was crying because he's a Knicks fan. <laughs> it's an emotional moment for New York Knickerbocker fans. I get it. Um, I'm a Dallas Cow. <clears throat> I'm a Dallas Cow. <clears throat> I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. What does that have to do with anything? Right I know what it's like to lose a lot. I know what it's like to not see playoffs the way you want to see them. I, I've suffered. That's what I'm saying. Does that make sense? Yeah. I just, yeah. I'd... Call me out and the show is canceled. I'll call our sponsors. We don't have any. Katie? All right, so the next game that we see in the East, so we can wrap this up. Do we have them covered? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's it. We see the Sixers. They've won. We see the Celtics winning theirs. We see the Bucks winning, and we see the Knicks winning. So those are the four teams that we see moving on in the East. Now it's time for a brand new segment called So Drippy. So Drippy. I, I, you'll see you can say it better. So. Okay, this is the real take. So Drippy. So Drippy. <laughs> All right. Here's the segment. All right, for this segment, so drippy, we've got James Harden in the weird pants. I don't know. I, I, they're trash bag chic. Um, it's a dark look. Um, um, I'm going to give this a four. All right, we've got the fresh look on Nick Claxton. I'm going to give that a solid nine out of ten. It's really nice. Love I really the like this. I like the sweater. The sweater's amazing. The beanie, the nice sunglasses. It's a cool, He's pulled cool it together. Fit. And Stephen Curry with the classic all black. Is this his original line that he's wearing? I think so, yeah. He's in beast mode in this. I like it. Sometimes he gets a little flashy. This is all business. We're giving it a 10. Western Conference. Oh, if you liked uh, the, the segment that you just saw, So Drippy, where we talked about the looks of NBA stars, why don't you like and subscribe? Outfits, not looks. Drips, outfits, fits. I just think, when I think looks, I just think like um, like how the player actually looks. Like, oh. attractive myself. <laughs> I think this is a an age age difference. Yeah. Because if I say that to older folks, they'll know. But you're yeah. younger. That's why we have a segment called "So Drippy." All right. All right. Well, Western we Conference. We have the Denver Nuggets versus the Timberwolves. Um, and uh, who was it? Was it Charles Barkley? No. Yeah, Charles Barkley. <laughs> Barkley said that he has to admit. That halfway through the last Nuggets Timberwolves game, he switched over to NHL hockey because the game was that boring. Yeah, it honestly is. Ooh. I mean, Denver Nuggets Jokic is boring. T Wolves are a bit young. So Nuggets are up three to one. The Nuggets are going to take that one, and there's not too much to watch in that one for uh, and yeah. at least for us. Like yeah. we're just. I think I predicted a sweep for that, which I am again. The past the two times that I said there was going to be a sweep, it didn't happen. And the two times, the times that the one time that I said there wasn't going to be a sweep, there was a sweep. So. So your record is looking like you're not going to make the play in. Mm. Okay. Um, so we see 14, the Nuggets. Fourteen seed at best. For you. For me. All For right. you, you're like, a, well, you don't, you don't do the predictions. I'm G League. Um, Denver Nuggets will win that one. The next matchup we see would be the Suns. And Clippers, Suns 3, Clippers 1, we have some... For a specific reason. Unfortunately. Um, Kawhi, so Paul George was injured uh, this past superstar season. Superstar for the Los Angeles Clippers. Um, and Kawhi Leonard, also for the Clippers, their other star, their main star, uh, got injured in the playoffs. So the Clippers don't have any stars now. They were doing pretty good the first game because they actually had Kawhi Leonard. But now... Suns are gonna probably and, take it. And Russell Westbrook is great. He actually he, scored thirty. I know, 37. I know. But there's only so much he can do. So the Suns will, in fact, cash in on the massive amount that they spent for KD. As they're up three one, and as they're up three one, and they will take that, and they will be the team to watch as long as they can stay healthy. Uh, an incredibly fun matchup that we predicted uh, last week was the Grizzlies and the Lakers. There was some uh, game missed by Ja Morant because mm -hmm. of his injury, but he's come back and he's played well 
But AD. Yeah. Anthony Davis, the LeBron, Brown. People are saying LeBron was going to play well, and he has, but the rest of the team... The rest of the team is in playoff mode. LeBron, I think if if the Lakers want to win a title, LeBron's got to still step it up. And I mean, go into LeBron's mode. regular mode is most people's playoff mode. Let's just be very real. So I love the fact that Hachimura is playing Reeves. strong. Reeves is continuing. I, his tenacity. He's just fearless. I sometimes try to think about it from a human perspective, like I said last time. And I can't imagine being so much younger and younger in my experience, and seeing, you know, what is, what is LeBron won? Four season MVPs? Uh, four finals, or er, season MVPs? Yeah. Oh, I don't even know, like... So he's won all of these awards. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine thinking that you're brave enough to even swat at the basketball. Mm-hmm. But that goes to show you just the confidence that these young players are playing with. The Lakers are also benefiting from a veteran stepping up, and like I said, that's AD. His numbers are great. His intensity, his blocks, defense. Yeah, his defense. blocks. Defense is really what's been, you know, helping the Lakers. As and he's playing bully ball one. at times. Yes, they're up 2-1. Bully ball. Do you like that term? Bully ball. Yeah. That, Bullies of the ball. <laughs> well, let's not dive there too deep. But I think that the whole concept is that he's not – they're getting physical. It's not, it's not a dirty game. I'm thankful for that. The refs call – everything some games so I don't think we're going to go there but I do like how physical the game is there now we are going going to wrap up our uh, talk on the NBA playoffs with the final matchup out west which is the Warriors versus the Kings as we said before the defending champion uh, NBA title holder Golden State Warriors have actually won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven championships in their organization. And they can do it again. The interesting thing is they are playing the team that helped lead them. Is this still going on? What? <laughs> Just so you know, Ben Brewer and I shot a whole show that you've seen some of. And he did, I think he did this whole bit. Yeah, I actually saw it was on for Thanksgiving. Yeah. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, we're just talking about my dad's friend. They did a YouTube channel. Go check it out, Meeting and Eating. On YouTube. And that's sponsored by Broken Dreams. Um, so, uh, I think that when you... What we're talking about? We're talking about the physical play of the Lakers? No, we're talking about the Warriors Oh, now. Warriors. We're back to the Warriors. I was really distracted about Meeting and Eating. I was thinking about eating... Just eating. Because that's what I like to do. <laughs> okay, stop. Don't make a mess. <laughs> so, this team that has won the title... Play or the coach that helped get him there is now coaching the Sacramento Kings, who is recently not head coach though. It's, it's he was that he was the assistant coach for the Warriors. Now he's the head coach for the Kings, and he just won coach of the year. Coach of the year, right? Sorry, sorry. I really was holding, hoping you would come in on that one. Anyways, uh, let's try it again. And he just recently won the coach of the year. Award. That's too much of a pause. <laughs> this last time, and he recently won coach of the year. So Four. that is oh my God. <laughs> last time. And he recently won Coach of the Year Award. And that's Mike Brown. And he is coaching the Kings. And so the strategies, I heard one of the announcers say that it's like watching a chess match between the two coaches. So there's a lot of strategy. There's a lot of play. What we're trying to say is it's tied 2-2. Two, because two. last time we checked, Warriors down 1-0. And then they, they were down. Or they lost their second. They lost their second game, so they're down 0-2. Oh, Slow down. <laughs> okay. And now... Uh, it is tied 2 to the Warriors' protected home court, and now they're going back to Sacramento. Uh, probably the, the most interesting series to watch right now, especially for me since I'm it's a Warriors fan. Very interesting. Fan. Yeah, so who do you um, see making the biggest impact in the Game 5? Like, who do you, if, if you need someone to step up on the road, uh, who do you see really stepping up and making a big difference because their two losses were very close and very competitive games. So who do we see that uh, player I see being? Jordan Poole. I think Poole still like, has not had a brilliant. And then for the Kings, I think Demontis Sabonis. I know this sounds dumb, but like he didn't have a good game last time. He if if the Kings want to win, they got to take advantage of the Warriors having no real center. Well, Sabonis is. Um, I think that the veteran play of Draymond Green. Which I feel like half of the audience would I feel like do. it's getting in Sabonis' head, which is what the Warriors want to do. The Kings are not, the Warriors are going to have momentum going into 
Sacramento, so I don't see the Kings lighting the beam anytime soon. All right, so without further ado... Your predictions for the winners of the entire NBA season. Who's it going to be? The Golden State Warriors. Golden State Warriors. Um, it would be amazing. Mm -hmm. They're right now getting into the territory of my era when the Bulls won six in the 90s. So, yeah, we see the Warriors winning. I know you're a mm -hmm. huge Steph Curry fan. You followed his stats. We like his play. We like Clay. Clay Thompson. This team is a tight knit team. Steve Kerr is no joke. He's held that organization together. Um, we're really, really, really hopeful. Um, so yeah, we'll keep you updated on everything. Talking about the NBA, we hope you liked today's episode. Um, what should they do if they did like the episode? I'd say you know, click that button right down there to subscribe. Leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. Turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our uploads. Shorts coming your way on Wednesday. My name's Josh. This is... Connor. Peace out, Girl Scout. What?